Pound for Pound Sports Entertainment, listen, I don't know what to tell y'all, all right? Y'all keep on doubting David Benavidez. Um, you doubted Demetrius Andrade. Salute to, to, to that. Salute to Demetrius Andrade. He tried. He went in there. He tried. He he started off great, and it got bad fast. I'm not going to lie to you. First two rounds gave it to Demetrius Andrade, right? He was literally showing everything, showing incredible ankles. The jab was working. He was mixing it up, mixing it up with David. He was pushing him back. When have you seen somebody push David Benavidez back? Had David Benavidez on the ropes and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Fighting on the inside. It got. It was great for Demetrius Andrade. Oh, it was great. But then, I don't know what happened. It was like he just started running out of gas. Um, he he was trying to hold Demetrius. I mean, he was trying to hold uh, David Benavidez. That's the beauty about David Benavidez. When you try to go in there and clinch with him, he throws you off of him. Hits you with a body shot. Not only that, catches you on the side of the head. And, and, and you're already tired. And this is where he starts to begin to, to come after you, right? And that's exactly what David did. He started off a little slow. But once he started landing with more accuracy, it got started getting worse and worse for Demetrius Andra. Um, round three, he just, Demetrius Andra just slowed down. Round four, he ended up getting dropped with like a nasty right hand. It, the way, if you look at how Demetrius Andra, when he got rocked with that right hand from uh, David Benavidez, it was like his eyes went cross eyed. He went down. He got up and he was never the same after that. He was dropping the mouthpiece out of his mouth maybe two or three times. Um, the, the fight really could have been stopped in the fifth. Um, you know, they went the sixth round. He was about to come out for the seventh. Um, the, the referee ended up stopping the fight. You know, uh, when it, someone in uh, Demetrius Andrade's corner said, hey, stop the fight, man. He was already getting looked at by the doctors in between rounds. It was bad. It was a beating, bro. It was That was a beating. But salute to Demetrius Andra for getting in there. I think this fight totally made sense. Um, both guys were avoided. Both guys were, were, I guess, considered boogeymen to a degree. And it made sense. But, hey, Demetrius Andra, he just came up short. He got beat by the... He literally got beat by the better man in David Benavidez. He is just a monster. And, and salute to Mike Tyson for giving David Benavidez the nickname the Mexican Monster because that's exactly what he is. He just keeps coming with pressure after pressure when he gets to you. He's touching you to the body, touching you up top, pushing you off of him when you try to, when you try to, uh, you know, clinch and stuff. Uh, if you try to, you know, use angles and keep, you know, move around the ring, he's going to eventually catch you. You're going to be worn down because when he gets to you, that's where the body shots come into play. Man, I love to see a fight between Canelo Alvarez and, and David Benavidez. Will it happen? I don't know. Should it happen? Absolutely. I mean, listen, Canelo Alvarez is undisputed at 168. Absolutely. But he did not beat David Benavidez for that WBC belt. Nobody beat David Benavidez. He's undefeated, number one. Number two, he lost his WBC belt during the pandemic on the scale. So you can, you can get mad all you want to. He lost it on the scale. He came in a little bit over for a fight and ended up losing that belt. Nobody beat him. Canelo did not beat the champ to win that WBC belt. You could call it how you want to. David Benavidez is the champ. Now, right now, he's the interim WBC champ. But that fight between Canelo Alvarez and David Benavidez needs to happen now. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think about it. Salute to Demetrius Andrade getting in there, trying to fight, uh, you know, David Benavidez comes up short, gets de destroyed. Hopefully we see, uh, uh, you know, Demetrius Andrade maybe come back, maybe drop to 160. He's got some fights there at 160. I don't know what he does, man. But salute to him. Salute to David Benavidez. Hopefully you can get a Canelo Alvarez fight and we can go from there. With that being said, salute to both fighters. Two Warriors win at it. The better man won today. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. It's your host, F. Merritt. Pound for Pound Sports Entertainment. I'm out.